who's the horse you've trained or driven that had the biggest heart? Uh, well, there's no doubt that Shadow Play would top the list, but uh, Astronomical would be a close second. Um, and even Impeccable, who was in the Strails Colt that we had, was he had a good heart in him as well. They'd raced through a lot of things in their day. And uh, um, I certainly appreciated all of them. The horse that I've had probably the biggest heart was, uh, you know, Tell All. He, he was an amazing animal. Um, everybody remembers his uh, Murphy Blind and uh, giant, giant rolling bird on the inside. And, uh, you know, the way he raced at the jug was just amazing. He just, you know, he had a huge heart um, and, and a huge desire to win and uh, really transcended onto the track. And by, be able, by able, you know, winning the North America Cup, uh, the first time I was, you know, I had a uh, uh, first time I won it, um, winning the Little Brown Jug. Um, you know, that he he was probably the horse with the biggest heart. I think it's Michael's power. Uh, definitely sports writer also. Uh, he was just, well, actually I got, I, sports writer, yeah, but Michael's power though, like sports writer is the perfect horse, whereas Michael's power has lots of lameness issues. He's not really the soundest creature, as a lot of people know, and he just gives it like the day of the little brown jug. I honestly wanted to puke watching the post parade. I thought we're going to maybe have to scratch him. He looked that bad and he goes through and wins little brown jug. So he's he's got a huge heart as far as fighting off soreness and sports writer just never gives up. He just fought right through the wire, no matter what the fractions were, he just kept digging. Uh, I think everyone that drove him could say this, and I was fortunate enough to get to drive Arch Place once, so that was a pretty big highlight for me. Uh, St. Elmo Hero, boy, boy, fire, boy, fire. He was a, he was a, a horse taken off the, off the meat truck, and he was kind of not very well bred. He had terrible feet and everything gone from him. And when he went behind the gate, he just threw everything out, and he tried his hardest every time. And he was just a sweet, sweet horse to be around, too. He was a real, real, wanted to please you. He just wanted to please you. So. Way far. I've had a, a bunch of old blue collar horses throughout my life, never any like white collar horses to speak of. But the other day I was looking at pictures and I came across the horse in the picture, his name was Alvin York. I was 13 when I owned that horse. And uh, I didn't know what his name meant then, but I do now, he was named after an uh, old war veteran. So uh, a, a war hero. And Alvin had the biggest heart because there wasn't one leg on him that didn't have a tear or a broken bone or something to that nature and I used to rub on him day and night to get him to race and he would race every week. So Elvin York. The horse that I've had that's got the biggest heart is Baraki. She's only a pint sized horse. She's, I don't even know if she'd be 15 hands high, you know what I mean? And, and she's just, wears a 53 inch hobble. She's just, in all regards, should be a six claimer. And uh, she just goes out here and gives it her all the whole way around. And, you know, she's got a mark of 150 and change and been paced, you know, clocked in 150 flat. And to have a horse that looks like her do that is just, she's got to have a heart twice the size of everybody else's because she was, you know, challenged right from the get-go with her size. And uh, she makes up for it in heart for sure. Beer budget. He was a uh, horse with no real talent. He couldn't breathe. He was small. We called him Peanut. Uh, I, I bought him for $2,000 as a weanling. And... Uh, he made a half million in the OSS program. Um, I had a horse called Was It a Dream uh, a few years ago, and he was not very big, but he took on a, quite a few really nice horses and done very well, especially as a two-year-old, and uh, he's, he holds a special place in my heart. She was uh, voted two-year-old filly of the year, and uh, she was lame all through the year as a two-year-old, and I kept patching her up, and uh, she kept on winning, and. Uh, she was a truly, truly a remarkable filly, so she, she's, uh, she's likely provided me with the most thrills in the business. Uh, to find the world, uh, maybe uh, he, he, was pretty, uh, he was pretty special. His heart was awful big, uh, you know, to have a bad knee like he did and still, and still win the, uh, you know, the free-for-all. Uh, so his, his heart was obviously very large. I would say an old 6,000 claimer by the name of Tusk Count Hanover. He was always lame and he always tried. I would say my first horse I ever owned, what the blazes. Um, she just, she was just tough. She didn't matter if you were outside or inside. And she was just, she wasn't that sound and she, she raced her, her heart out every week, so. Maybe a horse caught early one night. He just, uh, he never got tired and I, I, I kind of learned to drive on him and I would drive him terrible and I'd always move him early and he would just live out there and he, he made me look a lot better than I was driving him. I don't know, I, uh, uh, Moneymaker of course is one of them. I mean, you know, uh, I also put Cadabra very high. 
Cadabra was, uh, you know, kind of horse that uh, every time he raced and if he got beat, he was, you know, really, really took it personally himself. I don't think I ever saw a horse that really let himself down when he got beat. He's, he was unique in that way. I mean, he was a real fighter that way. And, you know, I mean, you know, I've been around so many great horses, so, you know, all the great horses, you know, they have that in common, but I would say Cadabra Moneymaker, maybe. I've got two. Uh, I, I love driving Buckeye St. Pat, and she had a great heart and uh, tried her butt off every time. And the other one was uh, Southwind Tempo. You know, uh, she got a little older in age, and she still tried really hard. Those two uh, fillies uh, got a spot in my heart. Probably Norwell Fame and Glory. Her, Norwell Gambler. Those two were probably the two, two of my favorites that tried the hardest though, every time. There's been a few, but... I've said this recently too, a little horse that we claimed out of Windsor a couple of years ago, his name was King Pete. People will remember him in the last couple of years, but he's, he would sleep for two days in the bottom of the stall and then get back up the next week and he'd go out and win in 51 and we just, we just shook our head because we couldn't believe it. But he was a, you know, just a ill-bred thing, but he, he had a big heart, that fella. But there's been lots of others, but just, Recently, that's the horse that comes to my mind anyway. Uh, Elsay's head over. Uh, I was fortunate enough one time to be able to drive Hannah Hanover in a race. And she wasn't always the prettiest going, but there was no horse anywhere that has a bigger heart than her.